Hey guys, what's up? I'm playing on my main account, Hi MMR, and I just met Hawk, one of the best humans in Europe. I'm gonna be playing Blade Master first, which I'm kind of a fan of recently. And in the recent meta, human is very commonly fast expanding. If I scout for it, it will actually cost me so much resources that it becomes hard to stop it with valid build orders. That's the degree to which the efficiency of build orders has been perfected in WC3. So what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to scout with a peon. I'm going to tech pretty fast. It's basically getting to 20 population peon before making second burrow, then making second. This actually makes your expo a lot, uh, your tech a lot faster, but it delays your grunt, your second grunt by like 25 seconds. By skipping Windwalk and going for Mirror Image, we are allowed to skip Voodoo Launch. Because we don't need healing when the image takes all the damage. So we tech now. And after this camp, we're going to get level 2 from the middle green camp. And with level 2, we're gonna just blind go for his expo. If he is not going for it, we will be wrong. But at least he won't have expo. And I think expo is the biggest threat. I'm gonna pick item at the marketplace and pull these creeps with the image. Voodoo lounge and third ground. Let's just get level up and then go. So we got three items. We've got our grunts coming. And I should probably play Windwalk and not Critical. Oh, it's Pala Rifle. Interesting. So he's playing a for fun style. But it's also quite strong. Interesting. So I'm gonna play TC second. I usually don't play against high level Pala rifle players. So that's pretty interesting. I think this is good for me. The attrition. TC second. Actually, no. He bought an extra ring. Mass armor. It's better if we both don't creep rather than we both creep. He has one attack upgrade. I 
I find fighting him here quite difficult. So I'm gonna put a peon in front of his main, so I know if he's coming for me. And I'm gonna creep the middle camps. Okay, he wants the middle camps too. Big regen scroll for him. He's full mana. I need to get level ups before I fight. See if we can take this camp away if he hasn't taken it yet. Okay. Maybe the bottom camp. Making more shaman. Okay, we'll take this if we can. Let's check what he's taking. Attack upgrade. See if we can take this turtle camp. Oh, he's coming. We uh, base trade. No TP is available. Interesting. One one. I am yours. Are you hero and obey? Yes, ask you there. We're under attack. Yes, I am yours. 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 Yes, I am 
How can I help? Yes, to Lord. 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 Y
But war chief. Free win. Easy. Oh.
Now I'm gonna try and catch him before he fully regenerates. How can I help? Yes. Oh. Direct me. Good choice, Understood. I hear the summons. Direct me. What task is there? Yes, Lord. How can I help? Oh. What do you want me to do? I am yes, Lord. We're under attack! For my answer, what task is there? Oh. Right away. Oops.
Thank you. Any chance for a minus 33 emo question mark carrot dub C3 viewers also need something toxic to spam smile. <laughs> I'll use investor soon. Griffins would be the scariest. I don't think he is. He doesn't have the money for it. Bloodlust would be sick for me, by the way. Let's go tier 3. No, we can't. We don't have altar. <gasps> oh. He's waiting for heal scroll. Can I get it first? Shit. Less than three. Yes, 
Nice. <laughs> that killing on TC was not BM, I needed the mana. <laughs> He's so good at micro, even though I thought play the WCG theme song. Beyond the game at last. <laughs> TC, what a cool game. Oh I'm stiff after that game. Stiff neck. GG sub to the graph. Whew. Easy free win, he said earlier. I didn't say that, did I? Yo, gun damn it. Thanks, dude. So are we. Your neck? Oh. Oh. Cool game. Looked like nothing on his side was dying. Yeah, he had like three rings of protection, devotion, Ooh. aura, holy light, siphon. Was tough. Oh, you did when it passed? Oh. 
Yeah, I thought it was gonna disconnect. <laughs> Yo, thank you, thank you. Yuppie with the five gift subs. Gundami, cheers, dudes. You can tell Bento Nelvar, Force of W. Follow, celebrate, Creo Hex. I'm a Madonna. Cheers, thank you. Let me get a glass of uh, drink and I'll be right back. I'll, I'll play the replay from his side so you got something to watch. Katas did a lot. No way to get him sooner. I don't think Katas were worth it unless I have guaranteed to base mining. Holy shit, was watching from Hawk's position. So beautiful control. Cool, man. Yeah, his control is crazy. He's super good. He's, of course, a bit rusty because of all the World of Warcraft, but I guess I'm rusty too. I guess we were still both pretty good. Be right back. He's 55 pop, I'm 49. He's 541, I'm 55. Five. By the way, Scourge Bone Chimes, guys? 
A little bit lucky. I think we lose this without bone chimes. A sobering moment. I tried to double expo like five times. He always stopped it. So happy you finally decided to add two catapults. Dude, they were so useful, right? What about the headhunters? Did you like those? I didn't love them. I don't feel like they did much damage. I mean, it's still a layer of damage. And sometimes they kill priests when priests get purged and left behind. Why not use shockwave? Hmm. Shockwave? The problem with shockwave, it's just damage. It's not an interrupt on siphon mana or his damage output. So you're playing glass cannon build with shockwave. Try to choose shockwave when you're looking to fast kill a fast killable army. Usually together with other splash damage like lightning shield and chain lightning. It's not that blade shockwave doesn't work together but it does different things. Blade is a single target damage specialist and Stomp locks them down and prevents healing and siphon and banish during that time. Adding Shockwave into a Blade mix is not bad, but it would be with the purpose of softening up many units so that Blade can choose who to kill. But the most important thing is that Shockwave does not cancel siphon mana. That means that my only options are running away from Siphon, which will be a never ending story. Ca casting from afar, Shockwave, but not fighting. Going in this, going in Vul. I always go Shockwave against Pala Rifle with Blood Mage, always. Adding Raiders? No, Raiders is horrible against Rifle Shaman, uh, I guess Rifle Priest. Damage output is atrocious. Low health count. Mm, they take a lot of damage from heroes. And banish, dispels, and snare. Just to cancel Siphon? Nah. Siphon cooldown would require four raiders just to cancel it. Perch does not interrupt Siphon though. Forces are under attack. That uh, invul was so painful. I should have checked. Where did Pala get all the infinite mana from? Later he bought double pendant of energy. Now he gets it from Siphon sometimes. Would Torrent be good with Pulverize against this? Yeah, but you can never get there. There's nothing that allows me to buy time for Torrents while fighting against an expansion and not having one yet. If I have three Torrents with Bloodlust, he can siphon them a bit, like banish them a bit, kite them a bit, slow them a bit, and... Three are still somewhat manageable, but if I have like three with good position and stomp, of course they are quite strong. 
if I have four, it's like almost uncontrollable for him. So long as I also do good hero control, like War Stomp, Siphon, blah, blah, blah. This is, this game is perfect reason to show why the new Echo Isles is superior than the old one. The fact that there's a tiebreaker gold mine that created all the action in the last one third of the game. If this gold mine wasn't there, we would both be camping the goblin shop. It'd be really boring. And the extra camps also created moments of contention. Echo has been such a stale, turtly map for like 20 years. And it's all thanks to Save Orcas and his team of uh, volunteer map devs that said, hey, enough is enough, let's make a better Echo. Because this could have been his, could have been mine, right? And these camps having like aura items. Yeah, Echo was so stupid. It was always like a turtle map. The creeps ran out really fast and then you couldn't take a third. So whoever took Expo first, Complete. that's it. They have more money, period. And then secondly, uh, whoever took Expo last would have more money All later on. So if I'm 4.3 in mine and he's 3k, that means I should camp for five minutes. He's going to run out and then I still have another 1300. Like what a boring game style. Like you have to camp five minutes. Because obviously defender's advantage is too good, right? We both have like five defensive structures. In that event, I might make towers too, who knows. If he got griffins, I need to switch to tier three, bloodlust and some berserkers. If I can't get to tier three, then no bloodlust and no berserkers, just headhunters. And I will need, uh, and I don't get lightning orb then, right? I'll just need some headhunters. Headhunter to Shaman, focus Griffin. It does mean he has much less oomph on the ground. So I've tried Spirit Walkers. And Spirit Walkers spread damage that I receive. Which is nice. Which also makes heal scrolls more valuable. But Disenchant has almost no purpose. Especially pre-inner fire and protection scroll. Disenchant will always be a big solution to a small problem. One banish, disenchant. Feels dumb. Perch is snappier, faster, and single target and cheaper in mana. Secondly, Link is a little bit of damage spread. It's very good under certain circumstances. But lightning shield, that breaks apart his formation and adds damage. In a way that walkers can't. Finally... Walkers are shorter range than shamans. Shamans and walkers don't do a lot of damage on heroes and rifles, but it's better for the shamans to attack from 600 range than the walkers from 450. They're just gonna get focused so quickly and just die. AM with aura would be better than MK or? No, MK is much better. Level one aura. 30 minutes in, Archmage just as a mana totem, it's not good enough. The MK is directly contributing, Archmage would help after 30 seconds into the fight. MK helps at second one into the fight. There will be no 30 seconds with Archmage. Could maybe Shadow into the third? No, I'm tier two. And I have no altar. So my way to shadow is altar, stronghold, survive, don't fight, a fortress, then shadow. So I'm spending over 1000, but you can't go spend a thousand when you already have uh, expo advantage. Expo advantage is my win condition. So I don't also need a tech win condition. If you get too many win conditions, you lose condition. Can Tarrants do the same impact as demos? No, Tarrants are tier 3. I have no altar and no fortress.